Welcome to the Know, I'm John Reisinger. And I'm Adam Ellis. So, the Nintendo Switch is out in just three weeks. If you're buying the system, I like, am. Yeah, so like Adam, uh, and then everyone else in this goddamn room, except for me, I'm not buying it. I'm Why sorry, not? I don't have the money. Oh, for um, sure. You probably already know what you'll be playing on day one. The only game worth playing, Zelda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but thanks to Gabby developers, we also have a pretty solid idea of what we won't be playing on the Nintendo Switch, which is causing all kinds of concerns about whether or not the system will have good third-party support. Okay, so we've heard everything from developers claiming they don't think Switch can run their games to developers laughing and saying, fuck no, to ports. At this point, it seems just as many games have been confirmed not to be coming to the Switch as there are games confirmed to be coming in development. So we put that idea to the test. Makes sense. So just for shits and giggles, we've made a definitive list of video games that you sadly won't be playing on the toilet with your new Nintendo Switch on March 3rd. But before we do that, we figured we should at least be a little bit useful, so here are the system's actual titles with confirmed release windows. Okay, at launch, you'll have access to 10 games, 1-2 Switch, The Binding of Isaac, Afterbirth, Just Dance 2017, Human Resource Machine, I Am Setsuna, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Little Inferno, Skylanders, Imaginators, Super Bomberman R, and World of Goo. Most of those games are already out on other systems. <laughs> <laughs> Throughout the rest of spring, we'll have ARMS, Has Been Heroes, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Puyo Puyo Tetris, Snipper Clips, and Cut It Out Together. And in the summer, Rhyme and Splatoon 2. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to like half of those games. Okay, good. Besides Super Mario Odyssey, all the other announced games are either TBD or attentively slapped with 2017 launches. And to be fair, Nintendo has confirmed that as many as 100 games are currently in development, with 62 of those actually announced. So, as for the games not coming to Switch, well, that list might be a tad bit longer. And let's start with the most recently confirmed Switch snub. Are you a fan of the newest Anime Boy Simulator Final Fantasy 15? Better enjoy it on another console because no. it is not coming to the Switch. Earlier this week, game director Hajime Tabata said there aren't any plans to bring Final Fantasy 15 to Nintendo's new console. There are no plans, it wouldn't run. And that's not the only AAA RPG to give Nintendo the shaft. Last month, Mass Effect Andromeda's producer Michael Gamble left the door open a tiny bit for the Switch, but not a big one. We're not planning on it, Gamble said. <laughs> but then added, if the Switch launches and everyone's just yammering for Mass Effect, who knows? We never wanted to close doors like that. That's game speak for, we'll keep your application on file, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> if you think Deus Ex Mankind Divided is coming to the Switch, you might need a brain augmentation. That's a really bad joke. Last August, when rumors swirled that Deus Ex could be one of Square Enix games coming to the Switch, games producer Olivier Prolou says that Eidos Montreal has never thought about the Switch, ever. Not once. That's sad. That's Poor even colder Switch. when you realize that the Deus Ex franchise has been put on ice because it didn't sell well. It's a pretty good game though. What about Prey, you ask? Well, the lead designer at Arcane Studios in December said the company has no idea if the Switch is even powerful to run their game. Sounds like those prayers won't be answered. I knew we had to make a Prey pun there. I knew it was coming. This is pretty, that was about to say like Prey last. Tell at the top. <laughs> hey, if you were thinking about playing LARPing simulators for honor on the Switch, better keep your sword in your sheath. Sword. Sword. Are we gonna have a lightning bolt? Creator here? Jason Vandenberg recently said it's not something we're focused on. Sorry, Switch, but it looks like this princess is in another castle. Or or another Ren Fair. Are you into Project Cars 2 as well? Well, we've got another <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm on funny. pins and needles. Well, we've got a project for you finding another console that can play this game. The creative studio director, Slightly Mad Studio, said this week there's no Switch support plan for the newly announced title. Will Titanfall 2 ever come to the Switch? In the words of Respawn developer Mohamed Alavi, eh, fuck no. That's a little bit abrasive. Why so mean? <laughs> it's Res clear though, it's clear. <laughs> Resident Evil 7 has been praised for its survival horror gameplay, but apparently trying to port it to the Switch would be even scarier. I'm looking forward to the possibilities of the system itself, but we have no plans at the moment regarding Resident Evil on Switch. Producer Masachika Kawada said, see you on a next gen console, Baker family. While Borderlands 3 might sound like an ideal Switch game to play with your friends, Gearbox CEO delivered a headshot to that possibility. It's another joke. Last month, Pitchford said, I do not see that it's happening. We were talking to Nintendo, but that stopped for some reason. They have other priorities. Other now, priorities meaning other games to cancel probably. Yeah, that one's like the to coldest fair, one. a lot of these games are just fucking like, like old games bringing to, like I don't care, I don't want like other versions. Like I've already played most of these games. Mm -hmm. Don't need them on the Switch. Give me new games. What do you got, Nintendo? Give me Challenged. a new game of three. Uh, the Switch may have been developed in Japan, but don't look for popular franchises about the Japanese mafia or Japanese school children fighting demons on it. Mm. There aren't any plans to bring Yakuza 0 or Persona 5 to the Switch. 
sorry, either one of these games would have made a great cost crossover with Mario, but we're not gonna see it. I would have liked to actually play Yakuza Zero on the Switch because I wasn't gonna play it anywhere else. Is there a Hearthstone card that can summon a Switch port out of this game? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> and you won't be able to summon one in real life either. Blizzard said in October that they have no plans to bring the popular card battler to the Switch. I guess you'll have to be satisfied playing on any other mobile device ever made. Yeah, it's not really much of a loss. Uh, the War survival game, this war of mine, also won't be coming to Switch. At least the developer doesn't have any plans to at the moment. No jokes here, war is terrible, moving on. Nintendo's always been super family friendly, so there's not much of a surprise that Dawn Creator Simulator Conan Exiles probably won't be seeing a Switch port. But you can still see some dongs if you play it on the PC. If you or you can to. just see dongs <laughs> if you go on the PC. They're, they're not everywhere. hard to find. <laughs> just constantly. Even when you don't want to find them, there they are. <laughs> In an interview with WCCF Tech earlier this week, developer Funcom said the Switch looks interesting, but they've got no plans for it. You can keep hope alive though, they probably didn't have plans to release their game DRM free by mistake, but that happened. Early access, more like never access, okay. Arc Survival Burn! Evolved joins the ranks of more games not coming to the Switch, which is not a huge loss, that yeah. game kinda sucks. Sorry to people who play that game. They confirmed as much in the Q&A session on their forums last week saying they'll be keeping an eye on the system, but don't expect to be hunting dinosaurs because we have haven't even finished our fucking game yet. They made it all futuristic too now. It's all got like a bunch of like weird robot stuff. They're, they're, they're breaking into that Horizon Zero Dawn uh, money. So that does it for the list of games that have officially noped out of the Switch, but there are a few unspoken nopes out there as well. Those mostly come in the form of publishers like EA and Take-Two who have tentatively supported the system with one title each, FIFA 18 and NBA 2K18, but said that'll be it until the Switch proves itself. So that leaves XCOM, Mafia, GTA, Red Dead Redemption, Dragon Age, Need for Speed, Battlefield, Battlefront, Madden, and Mirror's Ed franchises off the list for the foreseeable future. So that finally wraps up our exhaustive list of all the unconfirmed games for Nintendo Switch. If you, if you want more of these games, just look back at the last 25 fucking years. None of those games are kind of the system either. Great. Yeah. No Double Dragon game, no Battletoads, no Mortal Kombat on there. What the fuck, Switch? Again, there are still loads of games coming to the system and most of us are still looking forward to it, but damn, I mean, Mortal Kombat on the Switch might be kind of fun versus Mario, come on. We also forgot to say no porn, just, just yet at least. Uh, since there's no internet browser, uh, that one might hurt most of all. You can still just look it on your phone. <laughs> <laughs> but this one has a slightly bigger screen and it has a kickstand to make it easier. <laughs> What do you guys think of all the developers who've noped out Nintendo's new system? Let us know in the comments. For more updates on everything Switch and porn, and porn remember to like this video and subscribe to the new. Sorry, Switch, but looks like this princess is another cancel. We mean another- Cancel. God, I can fucking read. There aren't any plans to bring Final Santafacy. Final Samity. And I turn my phone to like silent. Come on. <laughs> Take the news seriously. This read is Sorry. literally you guys right, just figuring out different jokes just, to make I'm about do, games I'm not do, being I'm on this goddamn console.